Thank you for turning to page 121. Today we're going to take a look at Traveler, the customizable card game. This is published by Horizon. It's fully licensed by Far Future Enterprises, Mark Miller's company. Uh, this game was uh, kickstarted in 2017 and came out, I believe, in 2018. I just got my hands on a copy. I thought we'd go ahead and unbox it and uh, take a look at what's inside and what this game entails. I've read some reviews of this game and uh, watched a couple of other presenters on YouTube talk about it and uh, I thought why not? It's Traveler, I want to take a look. So we're going to take a look at the box contents and a little bit about what the game is about today on page 121. Alright, Traveler customizable card game. I'm going to go ahead and open this up. This is by Horizon Publishing. I know this was out in, uh, it was out Kickstarter in 2017. And I believe it was out in 2018. So let's get this guy open. There we go. There we are. All right. Taking it out of the cellophane. I'm pretty excited about this, actually. I was aware of this game when it was a Kickstarter. And uh, I didn't back it because at the time I was thinking I didn't need current Traveler. I had all the old stuff. As you know, if you followed my channel, I have very much changed my belief on that and I'm finding some of the new stuff to be pretty interesting which is one of the reasons why I wanted to get a look at this game so here we go pop the lid off wow it's a tight fit lid okay come on all right I'm struggling to get the lid off yeah, you know I've never opened it before if I can't even get the lid off. There we go. Okay. So first things first, you get the rules booklet. And this is rules booklet 2.0. Uh, not sure if that's good or bad. Uh, take a look at the rules booklet itself. It's a thick one. Wow, is that a thick one. 44 pages. So we get a look inside. It's nice, full color, gloss paper. Oh, I... I like this. Let's take a look. And it shows all the icons that you're going to need to know to play the game. Some good quality artwork. Oh, I like this book quite a bit. We're going to look at this a little more depth after I pull out the contents. Okay, great piece of foam. I'll actually be hanging on to that. Okay, and then we have our packs of cards. Okay. There's the Free Trader Beowulf right there. I'll have to slit open each of these packs and go through them. The Type S Scout. Now in the game, you are the captain of either, in this basic set, the Type S Scout or Free Trader Beowulf. And you use the different cards to move your ship about the universe and make deals, trades, bargains, carry cargo. Uh, or otherwise interact with the universe. And that interaction can be just that you're trading, trying to take mo make money, keep your ship going, or actively in conflict with other things in the universe, or even the other captain of the other ship. This is an up to four player game, and there are other ship decks out there. But the idea is that you can be the captain of your Type S scout, and you can directly be opposed by Free Trader Beowulf in it, so far as you actually can shoot each other and damage each other. So this is not a role-playing game, but it definitely has a lot of the flavor of the Traveler role-playing game, which is one of the reasons I was interested in getting it. So we go ahead and move this out here, and now we have our various event cards, and there's uh, people in here for to crew your ship, and you'll be adding to that, and then a bunch, a bunch of tokens. That's pretty nice. I know some of the expansion pack, Items you can get are bigger plastic tokens for this. They have deck sleeves. They have card play mats. There's all kinds of goodies for this. I thought I'd just start with the core set and see where that got me. So, so far I'm liking what I'm seeing. I'm going to go ahead and pop this out and make sure there's nothing lurking underneath. There usually is not, but you can never tell. Nope, that's it. Just a nice box. By the way, the box itself is very sturdy. It's going to be good to transport everything in. Uh, I like a nice thick plastic as well. That's not going to crack anytime soon. So it's going to be a good way for you to move this around if you want to 
go, you know, take it places to uh, play it, or if you just need it for storage. So, okay, so far, very favorable. What I think I'm going to do now is we'll take a look through the uh, rule book itself, and then after the rule book, I'm going to go open up each of these packs of cards, and we're going to see what's inside. So that's the plan. So stay tuned for the rule book. Okay, here's the rule book itself. Um, oh, I like the icon reference on the back. That's nice. Oh, that's very nice, actually. Um, I this is the first time I'm actually seeing the game, or you know, having it in my hands. I actually saw it at Adepticon a few years ago, back in uh, 2019. They had a table. Uh, and they were uh, running some demos and things like that. I didn't have the opportunity to play it at that time, but I did look at it and I was intrigued. I was also intrigued by the game uh, Traveler Imperial Warrant. Uh, that's a, a board game, uh, kind of a resource-based board game. Uh, I don't know, kind of like Risk type thing, but it's a little different. I hope to get that one day, but and I, that's not going to be anytime soon. So right now, back to the Traveler Custom customizable card game. I did see this at Adepticon. I did talk to a few of the designers at Adepticon. Um, and for those of you who don't know, Adepticon is a uh, con held uh, in northwest suburban Chicago, Schaumburg specifically. Uh, and it's actually coming up this weekend. Uh, as of the posting of this video, Adepticon will be starting. And uh, I will be going. I will be going as a just a person uh, spectating. There's a $10 spectator's fee. I'm going to be wandering around the uh, the game room, and the there are a bunch of different events. It's primarily for Warhammer, but there's a bunch of stuff played there. The Star Wars uh, tabletop game, not the RPG, but the actual tabletop uh, game. Battletech has a big presence there, and they always run games, and some of those games you can just drop in and play. Uh, there's a ton of other games. There's a great vendor area where I'll be spending a lot of my time. Uh, magnificent models on display. It's it's a good time. It's a, a lot of fun. I go there every year with my sons. Uh, that's coming up uh, starting on March 23rd. Open to the public, I believe, on the 24th, that Thursday. No, the there's, there's seminar is the Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, 25th, 26th, 27th is when it's open for anybody. Uh, $10 spectator fee per day to go in. I'm going to be there on Saturday. I'll be wearing a traveler shirt. If you I'm sorry, not a traveler shirt. I will be wearing a Doc Savage shirt. If you are there and you see me, please walk up and say hello. I'd love to meet you. Back to this. Okay, so we get a good look at the overview. We get, as I said, some really nice artwork in here. Nice layout. I like the pages a great deal. They're glossy but not shiny. There is a difference. A little bit of shine there, but you can read these easily. And Okay, the important terms. Deck construction. I'm going to have to read all of this to understand what I'm doing. And there's your layout. So I have played the Battletech card game. I've played Magic the Gathering. One of my sons, uh, my youngest son, plays that. He's taught me it. Uh, Spellfire, massive Spellfire fan from way back in the day till now. We still play Spellfire with my D&D group probably five or six times a year. Uh, so I am familiar with the card games is my point. This is another one I'm adding to the repertoire. I'll see how it plays. Layout seems pretty straightforward. And then ready phase. And then adventure phase. So this is the breakdown of the rounds. Here's some images of the cards. The action phase. Let's see. Uh, procurement phase. Then the action phase. The aggregated assault is a card you can play. That's pretty interesting. Uh, resource phase. And then they give you a phase example. So there's a lot of book pages in here, but it's sparse reading. It doesn't look like it's going to take a ton to get through this book. It's not like it's jam-packed with words, mostly uh, images and examples. Okay, piracy, contract resolution example. Yeah, you can resolve contracts, and when you do resolve a contract, you get so many points. The idea of the game is to be the first to get to 20 points. So I've seen enough on uh, the demo I saw, plus... This stuff I've seen on YouTube, which, by the way, just look up uh, Traveler CCG, and there's a ton of videos on this from a few years ago. Uh, let's see. There's the glossary of terms, how long each phase should take. Okay. I like this. It's laid out pretty clean. 
I've got to read it before I can give a final opinion. My idea is I'm going to show the contents of the box and then I'm going to go ahead and learn it and I don't know if I'll do actual gameplay of it or just give a review of it as a game or maybe even both. So I'll have to see if you're interested in seeing some gameplay of it. Let me know. That would be the harder of the two to do. But I would certainly be interested in giving that a shot if there was any interest. Okay. I like this. This this looks very pretty. Pretty is important to me in this kind of game. So there we go. So now we're going to take a look at the Free Trader Beowulf. Okay, so opening up the pack, the card pack. There we go. Alrighty. Very tightly wrapped cellophane again. Alrighty, so we get to look at the cards. I'm going to lay the deck down. Maybe going a little tighter on my shot. Let's see. There we go. I want to want to be able to give you a good look at the cards. So there we go. I'm just going to turn the cards over and we're going to take a look at them together. So this is the Free Trader Beowulf. And then we're taking a look at these are event cards. Again, I'm going to have to learn the, the game. These are two-sider. That's kind of neat. Interesting. I know these are different missions you can undertake. And then there are things that obstruct your missions. Okay. Okay, jump phobia. That's interesting. So I'm not really in attempting to examine each of these cards right now. I have to learn the rules. I just want to show them. This would all be for Free Trader Beowulf. Now I can change this deck as I want as the ship's captain. There are plenty of other expansion packs. And as I understand the rules, I can mix and match from the expansion packs. I have to have a set number of each type of card in my deck, but I can mix and match them. And that was, that's what makes it customizable. I like that. All right. Now we go to some of the upright, and I wanted to look mainly at the artwork on this to see if it's got the Traveler aesthetic. I'm very big on, you know, something that looks like Traveler. And Traveler is kind of a unique look, so let's take a look here. Yeah. That one certainly does. Crazy Eddie's Discount Depot. Okay. I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. I'm liking the artwork. Now oh, there's a Vargir. And here's are the really various people that can be in your crew. And then you can swap out your crew. Crew can actually get killed during the course of the game or leave. Uh, and that, again, is what makes it customizable. You can choose your crew, too. You don't have to stay with the same people each time. Oh, this is, this is nice looking. And then we got a repeat. I suppose that's for a four-player game. So you can have multiples of the same people. Okay, Boo App Advisors. Interesting. Okay, mostly I'm looking again at the aesthetics of these as opposed to uh, really dwelling on what the cards are and do. I haven't gone that far in my game as you just saw I just opened it so duplicate cards there fragmentation grenade grenade I like the sound of that panacea auto injector body pistol okay so far I like what I'm seeing we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna look at the next deck to this set move these guys out of the way now it's important I keep these together so I'm not gonna mix and match the uh, decks Next one up is going to be my Type S Scout. There it is, still in the original shrink wrap. We're going to take care of that now. Okay. And there we go. Type S Scout. 
I like the picture quite a bit. And then we're going to zip through these cards because we know there's no real artwork on these guys. Okay, it looks like we duplicate some of these, but enough different. That's kind of an interesting traveler look. Okay, I like the artwork on that one. Starship Graveyard. Yeah, there's a nice traveler flavor to these. I like the characters. And Aslan. Ooh, I'm, I'm liking some of the artwork here. I'm liking the general look of this. So, again, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this until I know what the cards are. I just wanted to get an idea of how it looked. As I said, I saw these in person about three years ago. But I didn't really look at it long. So it's different to actually be handling them and touching them, you know, in your own set. So I got one more pack of cards I'm going to open. And that last pack uh, looks to be more of the, like, the situation cards. Whatever they're called in the game. So I apologize that this seems a little rambling, but I had no idea really what I was getting in the set. I did get this uh, through uh, an aftermarket source that was running a sale. However, I do know that the website for these folks is very much up and running, and the stuff is available there at their retail prices. I got this a little cheaper. It wasn't that great a deal. This base set runs for $40, so you can be found at the original website, or there are some aftermarket locations for it, too. So just again... Okay, these are a lot of the same cards we just looked at. These must just be extra ones for making up your individual decks. And that must be where the three and four player aspect of this game comes in. Okay, all in all, I have to say, I'm going to put the box lid back as my out. Pull my shot back out. There we go. All in all, I have to say, I'm very favorably impressed. With the look of the product, the quality, the cards are a nice stock. They're thick. They're not going to bend or warp on you very quickly. I like the artwork a great deal. Uh, so far, uh, I think it's a winner. I'm going to take a look at the rules, and uh, I'll do a video in the future where I'll at least discuss the rules. And As I said, I may do one where I actually play the game. Uh, either There are ways to play this solo or with another person. So I will look, put a link to the Horizon website in the description below so you're able to uh, take a look at what they have to offer. I'm very interested in picking up some of the uh, accessories to this game, especially some of the playmats. Um, I'm a big fan of playmats. I've picked up a few that we use for uh, Spellfire, and uh, I've since really enjoyed using playmats. So that's all I have to say about the game right now. I, I recommend at least the aesthetics. Uh, we'll see about the game playability in a future video. Uh, so thanks for watching. I hope you liked your heard and saw. If you did, please like and subscribe. Please remember my Patreon. And if you're at Adepticon on uh, Saturday, March 26th, uh, I will be there. I will be the only guy there in a Doc Savage t-shirt probably. Uh, and if you see me, come on up and say hello. So that's it for today from page 121. Thank you for watching.